So this is the Damayanji Temple, and Damayanji was uh, built in 1163. It took three years to complete, and it was based on the, um, a similar design to the Anandapura, which is just down the road a little bit in Old Bagan. And it's the largest of all the temples in Bagan, and the most splendorous, uh, that you can actually place yourself within several different tiers of the temple itself. It's got two corridors with four vestibules uh, facing all of the four cardinal directions. And they say that the artistry, the, the stonework and the, the brickwork is so fine that a needlepoint couldn't be put into some of the design work here. Not sure if I believe that, but you know, at the time when it was originally constructed, perhaps that was an arguable point, I don't know. This is another one of those temples where the siding, the facade, sadly, has fallen off. It looks like there was much detail. Even on the inside of the main vestibule, you can still see uh, leftovers, the remnants of, of uh, paintings and, and various designs uh, that are typified of this, of the Bagan region temples. Due to some structural problems during the creation of this temple, the domer windows were blocked. Not sure what that really translates to as far as uh, literal construction, but today it looks like previous windows were made, the domer windows were then covered with other construction. Now, at a distance, it would appear that this temple was built in a pyramidal shape. However, uh, structurally speaking, it was given sandstone to reinforce the construction at its base, uh, which makes it look like that. However, it was essentially built so that light uh, could actually uh, be, be placed on, hit all four sides of the temple equally, giving the splendor of its beauty and awe in all of the heavens.